Okay, so here I am again, Pwn GMK. You may recall that back in October I promised to soon make a video on the radioactive Triton. Well, it being February now, I think I sort of reneged on that promise, but at least it's finally here. Thank God for midterm breaks, eh? So, the last video ended with the stable configuration of the deuteron. Now, suppose a free neutron were to come close to one of these deuterons. Naturally, since it doesn't have an electric charge, it would be very easy for the nuclear force to cause it to bind to the deuteron. This is what happens, and we get a triton. Now, you may recall what I said the last time about a neutron being stable when it's bonded to a single proton, because otherwise the thing would fly apart. Well, in this case, two neutrons are really too much for just one proton, so, this configuration is unstable. Mean lifetime is much longer though. For a free neutron, as you may recall, it was about 15 minutes. In this case, it's about 17 years. So, let's take a look at the decay now. Uh, it's beta minus decay, so it emits a weak minus boson, which decays into an electron antineutrino and an electron, and one of the down quarks transforms into an up quark. So, the whole thing becomes a helion with two protons and one neutron that is stable because if another neutron decays, then obviously the three protons will fly apart. So, it has to stay that way. Anyway, it's a helion, a helium-3 nucleus, distinct from an alpha particle, which is a helium-4 nucleus. So, that's about it for this video. I'm not going to go on the record as saying I'll definitely do anything else because it's probably not going to happen for a long time if I do. So, whatever I have an idea for, whatever I get time to do, I'll do. Thanks for listening.